Ingredients used for the sponge are refined flour, grain sugar, eggs, vanilla essence, and baking powder. Now here we are going to first start with the lining of the cake tin because we are going to make a sponge over here, a vanilla sponge over here. For the fruit rifle, uh, and this is the grease proof paper I have uh, cut it exactly the size of the tin whatever is excess I am just going to remove it off okay. the method what I am going to use is FO method so for which I am going to use hot water make sure the vessel fits on it like this properly it shouldn't touch to the base I am going to start with the three eggs over here now break the three eggs And then put this can go on the double boiler over here and green sugar I'm going to take a help of uh, two egg beaters if you have a machine you can directly you don't need a hot water directly you can start you know <coughs> beating it but here because I, I'm using just a egg beater I'm using a uh, double boiler over here okay this uh, consistency of the eggs will change over here beat it nicely till it comes to ribbon uh, ribbon consistency every time just pick it up and check you know see like this check whether it is done or not over here if you see it is it is getting dissolved in it immediately see after lots of beating of almost 10 15 minutes I've been beating every time tape pick it up like this you know like this and check whether it is there see now this has become nice and creamy also the ribbon stays for some time which means the mixture is ready kind of ready over here you remove the egg beat uh, uh, sorry hot water over here and the egg beaters also remove all the excess uh, egg mixture which is there on the egg beater scrape out everything from the sides with the help of the spatula okay and I'm going to put water inside it I'm going to put three tablespoons of water over here and one half teaspoon of vanilla essence and just mix this now I'm going to get refined flour and put the uh, baking powder inside it mix this nicely and always remember to sieve this I have sieved it here now already and I'm going to mix it properly always remember to mix it otherwise it the whole chunk of your baking powder will stay like that only which is going to be problematic it will become bitter because of that and always dredge the flour on the uh, this thing mixture very lightly you cut and fold this cut and fold is very important again cutting and folding make sure every time that the base has been mixed properly okay check whether there is any excess flour in the base you keep mixing like this uh, do not take too much of time also for mixing otherwise lungs will form in that and if you go very fast also then it is going to become flat all this effort of you know uh, giving a nice uh, body to the egg will go in vain now this is mixed properly I'm going to put it into the tin over here and I'm going to put it for baking Okay, I had already lined the tin always remember to line the tin in the initial stage only to uh, make sure you're not wasting any time and the mixture directly goes for baking immediately scrape out everything and pull it over here this is a half kitty tin okay. bake it at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes ingredients for the fruit trifle are with cream jam sugar syrup and fruits of whatever choice you want now here first I'm going to take bananas as I said before also it can be anything okay so I have uh, 
uh, all different types of foods can be there inside here so i have started with a banana over here uh, i'm putting chopping the bananas here uh, any colors you know colors is what is important because you're going to layer it that's the reason colors is what is very very important so and obviously the this thing so this is an apple again i'm going to peel off the apple if you want to have a nice red color you can also keep the skin of the apple but there are many people who don't prefer apple with the skin that's the only reason why i'm peeling you so it's all again you your choice whether you want to peel it off or you want to keep it just like that so as i was saying different colors can go inside it so you can put kiwi you can put strawberry i have just put whatever was available with me so again your choice okay i did not get kiwi and strawberry that's the reason they are not there inside it even the papaya i did not get uh whatever was available those fruits i have put inside it okay if all the fruits has to be Chop chopped like this properly okay. the and grapes also make sure to don't forget to remove the seeds over here then chiku these seed to chiku if you want to remove the skin of the chiku that also can be done your choice again grapes if you want to use black grapes that also you can use it they will look really beautiful make sure to remove the seeds over here remove the seeds is important again chop it and collect it in a bowl over there orange has to be peeled properly peel it nicely this is these are the imported oranges so this is how they are actually peeled okay so i remove the skin over here and small wedges i'm going to remove of the exactly between uh, the slits what i'm putting is the skin okay so and then chop that and collect it together i'm going to put sugar syrup another sugar syrup over here is one is to two proportion a thick sugar syrup to give a nice taste because sometimes this fruits are slightly you know uh, uh slightly sour now this is the sponge it was baked it have cooled down <laughs> remove the paper over here the grease proof paper remove it off and i'm going to slice it you know i want to bake a nice sandwich of two sponges over here and i'm going to put jam in between in each uh, sandwich in 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 the middle layer over here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove three slices over here because the height was big enough i'm going to make a nice sandwich as i said before also take a jam put it only in between layer over here and evenly just distribute it over there with the help of the palette knife now put this one more layer on top of it and press it nice now i'm going to make it into small small pieces because i am going to put this pieces in the base of the any uh, container what we are going to use okay see uh nicely remove it make sure they are not separating out so press it on top of it okay otherwise it will separate out we want them to be intact now these are the containers what i am going to use especially the uh, glass one so that i can see the layers so this sponge i am going to put into the base okay if you see they are not separating out so they will look beautiful uh you can also use those plastic cups also which are available in the market uh anything transparent will look nice because the layers will be seen over there okay do not take too much of uh, this thing uh, sponge also because we need even layers of the sponge fruit whipped cream all of it okay in the class i am going to put into this containers that's the reason i am showing it to you in this paper cups paper mousse cups okay ah. then i'm going to i'm going to press this over here now there is a option either you can put fruits because i've already put the fruits also lose out little water you can put directly the fruits here on top of it or you can first soak the sponge with the sugar syrup and then put the fruits on top of it it is your choice okay 
either ways the sponge is going to be slightly moist because the uh, this fruits also will ooze out little water plus we had also put some sugar syrup also in it and uh, that's the reason uh, we can do accordingly now here what i'm doing i'm putting sugar syrup again so that you know if any if i think that it's slightly dry i can put little more sugar syrup make sure the sponge is uh, moist i'm going to take whipped cream the nozzle which i have put is a savoy nozzle round savoy nozzle okay put the whipped cream inside in the piping bag it will be easier for you to pipe you can use the cloth bags uh, cloth pay piping bags also your choice okay and very uh, carefully you know pipe this you know do not ruin the sides or make it dirty because they look really uh, shabby if you do that so very carefully you just pipe it like this inside once the piping can you can see the layers also uh, but the piping all it has to be till the top okay because you have to do this feather icing uh, design on top of it that's it is very important that it has to be finished till top over here i'm going to even it out with the help of the palette knife so that it looks a clean finish is given to it okay same way i'm going to do on the paper cup also because without the clean finish you cannot do the feather icing on top of it uh, paper is going to be slightly difficult to you know do a clean finish but uh, try you know do not ruin it completely Just try a little bit once that is done then uh, once it is evened out what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a piping bag and in the piping bag i'm going to put the jam over here jam has to make sure the jam is neatly uh remove all the lumps out of it and it is in a piping consistency if there are lumps you wouldn't be able to pipe it okay so make sure you do not uh, you know remove all the lumps now pipe it like this in a circular motion okay it's not necessary it has to be in the even uh, this thing it's okay don't worry about it because the late see evenness is not important it's okay you just you know go try to do a circle like this and with the help of the toothpick what i'm going to do is see like this this gives a nice feather i think uh, design on top of it and it looks really beautiful as well clean your toothpick every time you know if it is too much of a pain cream has come on that now these are the layers see how you can see